All right. So we'll lose our headphones, guys, and phones away. So we'll just tune in while we go through this up here. So this is the exercise we're up to. We'll probably tap into this and hopefully the next one today. So, so 13E, what we're doing here is solving exponential equations. Now we've actually done this already and we did this by equating bases. Uh, and that only works if they have a base in common. What we're going to do here is use logarithms. And we're using particularly this rule of logarithms. Now the number one rule when we're solving equations is you can do anything as long as you do it to both sides of the equation, right? We learned that in sort of like year eight maths. It's like a, like a scale, it has to be balanced. And whatever you do to the left hand side, you have to do to the right hand side to maintain balance. So you can do anything. You can plus five to both sides. You can take a thousand from both sides, as long as you do it to both sides. So once we've got it expressed like this, we're gonna start pretty easy. We have an x, some number to the power of x equals 10. And we're trying to solve for x. All we're going to do is apply the natural logarithm to both sides. It doesn't have to be the natural logarithm. We could do a logarithm in base 2. We could do the logarithm in base 10. At year 12 level, we tend to just use the natural logarithm. So that's the process I'm going to teach. And a bit later when we're recapping the unit, I'll maybe show some other shortcuts. But for now, the best way to explain it is just going to be natural logarithm to both sides. Then, we're going to use this rule. If we have ln of a to the n, we can move that power out the front. So what I have then is x times ln 2 is equal to ln 10. Now, ln 2 is just a number. That's some number. All right? And so what we want to do is get x by itself. We're going to divide both sides by ln 2. And so we'll have ln 10 on ln2. We're moving it over to the other side, right? Dividing both sides by ln2. And that's our answer. And that's expressed what we call exactly. It's exact because it includes every possible decimal place. Um, ln10 is an irrational number. ln2 is going to be a rational number. It has an infinite number of decimal places. And let's evaluate it to three significant figures. Now you have to be careful when you're putting this in your calculator. It's ln10 divided by ln2, all right? It doesn't simplify to ln5 or something like that. So that's what we've got to make sure we put in our calculator. And remember the ln button is pretty much smack bang in the middle of the uh, calculator. ln10 on ln2, 3.219, and we'll state to three significant figures, okay? So we have the answer expressed exactly, and then we have the answer rounded to three significant figures. Now, normally in a test, we stress how we want you to answer the question. And particularly when we're solving equations, we tend to say, find the solution exactly. So that means you don't have to put it out, you just find it here. Every now and then we'll say, find the solution to three significant figures, and that's when you do have to put that in your calculator to get the extra mark for the rounding. Okay, let's repeat the same process for the next one. We're going to apply the natural logarithm to both sides. Move the x out the front. And then we divide both sides by ln5. Okay? So maybe I'll just talk through that step manually quickly. If I'm dividing both sides by ln5, I have the same thing on the left hand side here. I've got ln5 at the top and at the bottom, and it's common to everything at the top and the bottom, so it can cancel. It's at the top and the bottom, so it cancels, right? And so we're left with ln200 on ln5. We divided by ln5 so that we can get rid of it. Uh, and so that will be our answer there, and again, we can state it to three significant figures. Alright, so we'll do that quickly, ln of 200. On ln of 5. 3.292. 3.29. Okay, I've got e to the x equals 350. So again, we'll start the same thing. We're going to apply ln to both sides.
Now with this one, because the logarithm is in base e, and we have e to the power of x, one of the rules we're going to recall from the last exercise is ln e to the x actually simplifies to x. That simplifies to x. So this left hand side simplifies straight to x. So we should recognise that, um, but you still could go completely through this process and get the exact right answer as well. All right, on to D. Now, they're getting a little bit more complex, and what's going on here is we have this four out the front that we need to get rid of first. Now, I've stressed as well, this is not equal to, this part here does not simplify to 12 to the power of x. That's because of bed mass, right? First, you have to evaluate the power and then multiply. So we can't simplify it to 12 to the x. Instead, what we need to do is get rid of this 4 out the front. We need to divide both sides by 4. It's a product on both sides, 4 at the top, 4 at the bottom of the pencil. And we have 3 to the x equals 12 divided by 4 is 3. And so we don't even need to use logarithms to see the answer here. Here, this is a good opportunity for us to recap. They have a common base. If the base is the same, then the powers have to be equal. What are the powers? X and 1. X is 1 is the solution. Okay, now this one here, there'll be a little bit involved with this one. So, just like we did with D, we're going to get rid of that 5 first, divide both sides by 5. So we have 2 to the power of 0.1x equals 4. Now we could go on and solve by equating the bases, because they do have a base in common, right? This is 2 squared. We're not going to do that, we're going to use the logarithms. So I'm going to put the natural logarithm on both sides. I'm going to move the point 1x out the front. So this is point 0.1 times x times ln2. Now we want to get x by itself. So from here, if you're looking to get x by itself, we're just going to sort of divide both sides by point 0.1 ln2 and here point 0.1 ln2. Because then what's happening is we've got ln2 at the top and bottom here, we've got point 0.1 at the top and the bottom, and we're just left with x on the left hand side, ln4 on point 0.1 ln2. I think that's the most effective way to think about what's going on there. And we can evaluate that to three significant figures. So we've got ln4 on top of 0.1 ln2. Okay, so um, that's, this is what we're going to start with, solving equations using logarithms. So let's rip straight into this exercise. It will start all right and it will get more complex as we're going through it.